Hey, we're up on the ridge at Bridger Bowl on uh, November 7th. The ski area is still closed for a couple weeks now, and so there's no avalanche control and backcountry conditions up here. So we gotta assess the snowpack on our own and, and decide where it's safe to go. Uh, we had over three feet of snow over the weekend, and that ended yesterday morning. Some, some wind yesterday and last night wind slabs up near the ridge lines here and so these are sensitive a lot of natural slabs released last night or this morning and these are the main terrain features and, and slopes we want to avoid for the next few days where the wind's going to continue to blow and load up these slopes with fresh wind slabs we've been seeing deeper in the snowpack below the storm snow and on top of the old snow a lot of more stable observations but we still want to be digging down to see how the recent snow is bonding to that old snow surface before we commit to any avalanche terrain. For this weekend storm, this slope was completely bare, just rocks and grass, and so all this is from the last week, and this is pretty dense and supportable, and it's bonded well. There's no layers, and we're not seeing any, any sliding on non-wind-loaded slopes. Um, so we feel pretty good about stability on these slopes that didn't hold snow before this last storm. It's a different story if you go to shadier aspects where there's some, some crusts and older layers. And then another thing to note here is that all over these aspects and these big open meadows are some big, large surface hoar grains forming on top. So if those stay preserved in areas and get buried, that'll be our next weak layer, but those could also be destroyed by sun and wind before the next storm. So we'll just keep an eye out for that. And for now, we're just looking at uh, this last storm and how it's either bonding to older snow on shady aspects or 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 avoiding wind loaded slopes where where it's definitely unstable